Lucio Ball Classic is a thing. And also, we're probably going to get a brand new Lucio Ball for this year's Summer Games. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. So we've got a lot to cover in this video. We've got the Lucio Ball leaks, which Blizzard have actually kind of done to themselves because this is available in the workshop and uh, on the PTR and on the live servers, which is really funky. But also, we think we know what one of the experimental cards is going to be, again, because of more workshop leaks that have hit the game. All right, guys, let's get stuck into this and break it all down. This is one of the edit action windows from the workshop. Now, you guys know I'm not a workshop pro. I don't really even know how to use the workshop. I can do super basic stuff, but nothing amazing. However, if you look at this, there are specific actual like data points that are pointing towards Sydney Harbour Arena Classic. Now, that would indicate that Sydney Harbour is now a classic Lucio Ball map, but actually... We've got more stuff as well, because if you look towards the bottom of the right hand side of the screen here, you can see Busan Stadium Classic. So there is another classic Lucio Ball map there. Now, this begs the question, what are Blizzard doing here? So in an interview with PC Games N that Jeff did for the four year anniversary of Overwatch way back in May, Jeff said this about new events. He said, we're actually working on some summer game stuff right now. Again, we're not adding a new sport. There won't be a new Lucio Ball or Lucio Hockey is what everyone really wants. <laughs> we won't be adding that, but we're putting some cool twists on the existing content and trying to keep the game fresh. Now, here's the other thing as well. When did Lucio Ball come out last year? Well, this is taken from the Wikipedia uh, for Overwatch, which shows you the dates the events went live. Now, we do know that Blizzard have said that things might be a little bit different this year. However, it kind of looks like they're probably going to be the same. So check this out. So last year in 2019, the event started on the 16th of July. Well, of course, we've gone past that now. But then if we look at the other dates, so on 2018, it was the 9th of August and then 17 was the 8th of August and 16 was the 2nd of August. So pretty much we can probably get this event whenever. Now, what will probably happen, or at least this is where I'd kind of put my money on, is when the Sigma event finishes, that's probably when we'll go straight into the Summer Games event, right? Because it makes sense keeping these updates rolling, keeping people interested in the content that we've got. Now, the bigger question here is, what would a new Lucio Ball look like? Now, I think what we might see here is a new map design. Now, this is obvious speculation, given the fact that they are now listing the old maps as Lucio Ball classic maps. Maybe there could be some sort of integration of moving, uh, I don't know, components in the map. So maybe there's like elements that move around the map. There might be new jump pads. There might be things which are just actually straight up new, which were not possible to do on the existing maps, or they just wanted to keep those existing maps as is, so we can go back and play classic Lucio Ball. But get this, they've also edited those maps so they're new. There's a lot of possibilities here. I want you guys to go crazy in the comments below, but I think this is pretty much confirmation that we are getting a new Lucio Ball event for this year's Summer Games, which, it, yeah, is about time, or rather an, an improved Lucio Ball event, let's say that. So what about these experimental card changes? Well, just to quickly recap what Jeff said last week. Well, this is what he said. We have two experimental cards in the works. One is focused on some balance changes, some Moira experiments we are unsure of, and some minor toning down of Genji. The other is a failed experiment that we figured might be fun for some to try. Now, Jeff goes on to say, we're not sure what order these will be going up just yet, but we're hoping one goes live sometime next week. Sometimes things come up and those dates change, so please manage expectations accordingly. Okay, so we're getting a new experimental mode next week. Now, this was found by um, Andy, the Irish GM, uh, the Irish Overwatch team GM. Uh, link in the video description below. Go and check him out. This is um, listing assault testing. Now, again, these are things you can change on the uh, workshop. This is on PTR as well. And look at that. It says assault test. Now, this got me thinking, and it's obviously very obvious that this could be an assault experimental card. I can't believe I actually just said, obviously, obvi that's obviously terrible, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, also, this is from live, right? So this isn't the PTR. This is on the live servers, and it still says it, assault test. So it's a thing, right? Blizzard have been working on assault, and we know that because check out what Jeff has said in the past. So this is way back in the 17th of April, and Jeff said this. Um, this was in response to a comment which said, has the team ever considered splitting maps into three capture points? I get the feeling that the frustration is from how quantized uh, capture progression is making it very all or nothing compared to something more continuous like payload maps and jeff responded to this saying yes we've actually tried it 
the scope of work to do it properly is the equivalent of rebuilding all of the maps. It's not a minor redo or rework level of effort. It's almost like building a new map from scratch. So that's Jeff pretty much saying, no, we're not going to get three point assault maps. So that's not going to be this test. And then Jeff goes on to say this and says, and this again was on the 17th of April. This is last time he publicly spoke about 2CP. And he says, we discuss 2CP all of the time. It's one of the top discussions we have in the design group. We've spent more time trying to address that game mode and trying changes than any other mode. We've also reworked the maps the most. And actually, before I carry on with what Jeff said, think about two maps that are not actually in rotation at the moment. Paris and Horizon are not playable. They are not in the game at the moment. They've been taken out because Blizzard are redoing those maps. Maybe we see those maps come back with this assault test. That actually might be a nice little thing. Anyway, Jeff goes on to say, the mode has some fundamental flaws. Depending on the context you're coming from, professional play versus comp versus quick play, contrary to what some communities would have you believe, not everyone dislikes the mode or maps. We'll continue to try solutions for both the mode and the maps. It's definitely something that's top of the mind for us. There just isn't an easy silver bullet solution. So I'm going to throw the question over to you guys. What do you think they're going to do? Now, remember, in the past, they have spoke about speeding up the game, making the matches quicker. This might be what they're trying to do with Assault. Now, remember, there were changes that actually are on the live servers now that came out a while back, speeding up Assault, basically reducing the amount of time you get in the time bank when you capture the points as you go forward. So it makes the game faster. And there was things, if you go way back, remember, they increased the spawn time. So you will, uh, sorry, they decreased even. So you, well, and they did increase as well. Let me just clarify that. So when, let's take Anamora. First point, you get steamrolled, but maybe you're sort of halfway between first and second point as a defender and you commit to the defense, right? Now in the past, obviously, well, way back in the past, if you did that, you'd be a staggered spawn. The enemy team would run through. It'd be a 5v6 and probably win. However, it was changed that you would pretty much instantly respawn if that was happening. And that's been in the game for a few months. Uh, they also made a change where, um, it's longer for you to respawn when you are defending and it's like, you know, the, the enemy team are capping the point and it's an overtime and all of that stuff, right? So they've done a lot of changes to Assault. So I'm trying to think like, what other things could they do to increase the speed of the game? Because we know they're probably not going to rework the map. So we've got three Assault points um, because they just can't do that. It takes too much work. So this is going to be an interesting thing to see because even though Jeff says not everyone likes, uh, like some communities, you know, what have you believe that 2CP is not great. I honestly don't really like 2CP to play. I want you guys to let me know if you do in the comments below. To watch it at a pro level, oh, I think it's great, right? Because it's an organized team. On the ladder, in quick play, it's not an organized team, is it? If your team don't push together at the same time, it's it's very difficult to get any kind of fun out of that game mode. And especially if you just get steamrolled, well, then it doesn't feel great as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave the video at that. This has been a quick update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, keep sending in video clips to all of the series that I now produce. If you go to unitloss.com, you'll see links at the top of the screen. Check them out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, and a little bit of a teaser. There will be the Overwatch uh, has got talent, which is the new series I'm working on, which is actually really damn good. It's taking longer to make than I thought it would because we're doing loads of like awesome editing. That'll be out fairly soon. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Doodaloo.